How Batman's Vanishing Trick Works, explained. Things will get ugly. I knew the risk when I took this job, Lieutenant. How will you get him back in? He does that. Batman has no superpowers that would allow him to disappear. Rather, he uses tools, trickery, and misdirection to make it seem as though he can disappear. Not to forget, he is the best ninja there is, and ninjas are masters at stealth. Part of Batman's character is his mythic reputation. For years, he built up this idea that he was more creature than man. Part of the reason Batman can do the things he does is because people believe in him and his myth. This one isn't so hard to answer. The key is progressive misdirection. You see, although it may seem Batman is absolutely gone, it's quite likely that he isn't more than a few feet meters away. He'll wait for a nanosecond when the subject is lost in thought and use that moment to place himself outside of that person's range of perception. He isn't far outside, he's barely outside. As the person is startled and begins to look, Batman will distance himself more and more as he knows where people tend to look first and foremost. Remember, he is a ninja. Ninja were trained in infiltration and camouflage. It wasn't unheard of for a ninja to sneak into a castle during the day as a poor vendor, then slip into the pond and breathe through a straw for hours to come out at night. They could hold a fixed pose for hours in order to hide in shadows in plain sight. Simply put, he knows where you'll look, when you'll look, and how long you'll look as soon as he disappears, and uses that to remain unseen as he makes his escape. Batman knows the layout of the areas he investigates. He knows the exits and entrances, the nooks and crannies, sometimes more than the people who live or work there. And just like a magician with card tricks, it's all about opportunity and misdirection. A head turn, a cough, or a minor distraction gives ample time for Batman to sneak off into those hidden exit routes. Remember that he's an accomplished acrobat and contortionist, and also one of the greatest escape artists ever. He knows how to quietly slip away like a stenographer, knows how to type. It's muscle memory honed with years upon years of training and discipline. Why can't Superman hear Batman? Theory 1. Bat Heartbeat Obscurer The thing you have to understand about Batman is that for a hero without superpowers, he's every bit as fantastic as the world he lives in. Not only can he perform feats of athleticism that would be impossible in real life, he has access to gadgets that might as well be magic. One of these gadgets lets him be so silent that Superman can't even hear his heartbeat. And since Superman doesn't have eyes on the back of his head, all Batman has to do is wait until he's looking at something else, and then he can just slip out. That, or Superman can see him, and just pretends not to for the sake of politeness. Theory 2. He can. Some writers simply like to pretend that Batman can do the vanishing act to Superman, same as everyone else. But we've seen that even an inexperienced Kara Zor-El can sense Batman at any time she wants to. Try that bogeyman stuff with somebody else. I can hear your heartbeat from 40 yards off. Superman can hear a specific heartbeat from across the world and even in space. Do you honestly think he can't hear Batman doing the vanishing act on him? You'll never see him arrive and you'll never see him leave. What's the reason? Batman finally admits why he vanishes on Gordon so often. And the reason is entirely heartbreaking. Batman finally admits that the entire reason he walks out on people so often is because he doesn't like saying goodbyes. Bruce Wayne's whole life was entirely shaped by the loss of his parents.